Welcome back friends, it's Ali DZ with a new review. Today we are going to review Gillette's heated razor Gillette Labs. If you find the video interesting or if it's something you like, please, please hit the like button and smash that subscribe button at the bottom. And that way every time I drop a video, you get to see it next. So without further ado, let's get into everything you need to know about the razor straight away. Now as part of the box, you get a charger and this charger goes with your magnetic wireless charging stand and you just saw as soon as I plug the cable in a white light sort of illuminates in there and it's quite fancy because you've got to guide the razor on there don't just leave it because it'll fall off and you'll see how it's sort of indicating that it is charging. Um, and yeah, that's it, that's what it is. So um, you gotta charge it for an hour and it'll give you about six shaves with every charge. Now they also give you an extra cartridge as part of the box. I've used this cartridge and I've gotten about 15 shaves from it. I reckon I could still get another one, but it started giving me a very slight tug. So I'm just going to go with a fresh new blade and a new razor. And I'm going to tell you all about it today. Now the razor is waterproof, so you can obviously use it in the shower. Also, as far as the design goes, it's got five blades at the front that are spring loaded. The razor head pivots, so it's really comfortable and it's got its flex ball thing happening in here as well so it contours around your face as you shave they also have a precision trimmer for your sideburns or tricky spots like under the nose two very basic heat settings you turn it on it blinks and within a second it's on an orange light and that is 50 degrees celsius if you want to turn it down or tone it down you keep the button pressed for a couple of seconds and it then goes orangish or yellowish. I don't know what that is. That is orange. Um, that is 43 degrees Celsius. Um, I prefer the 50 degrees Celsius on cooler days. And then there are days where it's warmer. I sort of divert towards the 43 degrees Celsius. Now, the other fun thing to know also is that when you turn it on, it turns automatically back onto the heat setting that you initially set it up at. So if I keep this and change this to 43 degrees, you see, I turn that off. When I turn it back on, it's automatically gonna kick in on 43 degrees. Facial hair is about three and a half days worth uh, stubble, and it should do a nice and quick and easy job. I will show you the razor in action. So run some hot water on my face, guys. Um, that should open up the pores. I've just had a shower some time ago anyway, so I'm not gonna do a face wash because my face is already quite clean. Um, for the cream, I'm gonna go with Gillette's Pure. Um, very, very minimal quantity in there. Whoops, that just came out flying. All right, so it doesn't look like it's gonna be really minimum, but that should do the job for two passes. Um,
a um, fair amount of lather on the brush, so I'm going to leave it there for the second pass. Now, with the multi-blade guys, I don't think you need to do three passes, at least not in my experience, because I've got coarse hair as well. Um, I'm going to turn it on. That's ready to rock and roll. Like I said, I don't... It's a cool day today, so I'm just going to change it to the hot setting, which is the 50 degree Fahrenheit. All right. And you'll feel the heat straight away, so here we go. So I clear the sideburns first. All right. Oh, uh -huh. it feels amazing. It genuinely feels amazing. Wow, so it does just shape really, really well, as you can see, as you can tell. I'm not doing multiple strokes, I'm not doing multiple passes. Um, really, really easy to sort of wash or rinse the hair off as well. All right. There you go, guys. Amazing. Make it clean. This is what I like about Gillette. I think they are expensive, yes. The cartridges are expensive. But they just work. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I'm gonna change the setting to the mild setting, which is 43 degrees. Hmm. So the drop in temperature is instant, like you'll feel it instantly. You can tell automatically it's milder. So I'm thinking if you've got sensitive skin, that's something that you might want to use. I use it particularly on warmer days. Um, as much as I would love to enjoy a cold water shave, and I've tried it, I just find myself going back to the warm water shave. All right, pass one done. I'm gonna rinse off my face, lather up quickly for a second pass. And this is something else I find, I found that works really well on my face. And that is, when I'm shaving with a cartridge razor, I wanna go pass with the grain, and the second pass, instead of going against the grain, I found going cross grain works better for my face. That's just while I'm shaving with cartridge. All right. Ready for the second pass. The blades are immaculate, guys, like super clean, right? Cross green. Oh. The heat. You can just feel it. It's really... So not only does the heat open the pores on your skin and give you a closer shave, It 
It's also quite relaxing. Oh. Especially on the cheeks, the neck. It just feels great. I won't need any more passes guys, that's pretty much it. That's where the flex ball comes in handy. I don't know if many people that shave that long strokes, but when you do a one-off, You want to run it nice and slow on your face. I know I've shaved my face completely clean, but just to experience the heat, I feel like I'm doing a little more passes than actually required. Like right wrong. I can't feel any hair on my face at all whatsoever. So that's a clean shave, guys. Um, it does the job. It does the job really, really well. It does give you the hot towel sensation of a barber shave at home and at your convenience. Now I forgot to mention how you change the cartridge, but it's standard Gillette. You have a switch in here, you push it up and the cartridge comes off. Your heated bar is part of the core technology and the core handle. So pretty much that's what your cartridge looks like. And to slide the cartridge back in, pretty much just push the handle and it clicks in. Nice, solid, does the job, does the job really, really well. Uh, all right, so washed my face off with cool water just to close off the pores. I'm gonna use uh, Perazzo's aftershave to complete the barber shave feel. Ah, oh, relaxing. Now, two very commonly asked questions. Isn't this razor a Fusion Pro Glide just with heat? The answer is yes. Um, the second question is, can you just not dip the Pro Glide in hot water and then get the shave and it's the same thing? The answer is no, because I did try a comparison side by side. Um, there's two things that happen when you dip a uh, ProGlide in hot water and run the shave versus the heated razor. The heat will gradually, as you as you do the shave, the heat gradually goes down. So you lose the heat by the time you're done with the pass, the first very first stroke. Uh, whereas this one is consistent heat and you feel the difference. The second thing that's going to happen is your blades and the lubricating strip don't get hot. It's the thing at the bottom in here that's delivering the heat. You're heating up the entire blade, which means your lubrication strip wears off a lot quicker and you will get lesser shaves from the probe light if you're trying to replicate the heated um, Gillette Labs uh, effect. It'll work, it'll just be expensive. Well, it, I think it'll work out to be the same thing. So. If you are trying to get the heated razor experience from the probe glide, you might as well invest in the Gillette Labs heated razor and get it done properly. Um, is it worth it is another question. So that entirely depends on you. If you're not on a budget, if you love technology and you know you want to try something different, you will definitely enjoy a hot towel shave with this guy. After you're done with the shave as well, you will have a tingling sensation on your skin. Who is this not for? If you're on a budget, 
if you don't really want to spend too much on shaving, don't get this. It's a fancy product. That's the reality. Um, does it shave better than the Pro Glide? The answer is no. Um, it doesn't, not in my opinion. Do you feel um, the experience with the shave is better? Yes, 100%. It's like when you shave with a DE razor, it's much more enjoyable versus just like a random cartridge that you brainlessly just shave. Um, so yeah, it is more enjoyable, 100%. Um, is it worth the price tag? For me, maybe not. Um, I just waited for this to go on half price. It did go on half price and that's when I got it. Gillette Labs, heated razor, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button in there. Um, if you've got any questions that I haven't answered about the razor or I missed, please, please ask me in the comment section below and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe like I mentioned. I will see you next time with another new review, another razor, um, another video. Until next time guys, it's Ali DZ signing off. In the meantime, stay sharp guys.